Hey friends, it's Miss Janelle from Classroom A. Today we're going to read The Dot. The Dot. That's the title of the book, written by Peter H. Reynolds. That's the author who wrote the story. Now, some of our friends have read this story in class already with us, but we're going to read it again today. It's about a story about a um, young girl named Vasti who feels that she cannot draw. Art class was over, but Vasti sat glued to the chair. Her paper was empty. You can see how she, her back is turned. And there's nothing on her paper. It's blank. Vasti's teacher leaned over the blank sheet of paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vasti. I just can't draw. teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vasti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm, she said. She pushed the paper toward Vasti and quietly said, now sign it. Vasti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. And she signs her name, Vasti. The next week, when Vasti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm, I can make a better dot than that, she said. So she opened up, she opens her never before used set of watercolor and set to work. In my class, our friends love using their watercolor. Vasti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vasti kept experimenting, lots of little dots in many colors. Hmm. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vasti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. She even made a dot by not painting a dot at all. Wow. At the school art show, a few weeks later, Vasti made dots. Her, Vasti's many dots made quite a splash. Look at all those dots that dot Vasti made. Vasti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vasti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a squiggly line with a ruler. Hmm, what does she say? I wonder what she tells the boy. Vasti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vasti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, what do you think she's going to say, friend? Please sign it. The end. Well, my friend, that's the end of the dot today. So, you know, let's think back and about the story. When Vasti grabbed a marker and jabbed at the paper, she was really angry. Why do you think she was angry? Hmm, have to think about that one, right? Her teacher framed and hung her picture on the wall. How do you think that made Vasti feel? So she was angry when she jabs that dot, but do you think she was still angry when she saw the picture hanging be behind her teacher's desk in a beautiful gold frame? I wonder how the art teacher felt seeing Vasti smile and realizing that she could be an artist. What do you think, my friend? 
do you think the people at the art show um, knew that Vasti had just started painting? Because they were pretty amazing dots. Well, these are questions you can share and ask with your family members and re-watch re the video and